and we need to talk with the uh, with people here. Secret and forbidden knowledge. Something so terrible that Hermaeus Mora wiped the very memory of it from all existence. But now Tolvasard has plucked a thin sliver from the darkness, urging us to remember. Though it pains me, we cannot allow that. Yeah, so basically everyone forgot the memory. You did? I am unsure how I feel about that. I want to ask you a thousand questions, but the corruption plaguing Apocrypha grows worse with every passing moment, and Vermina still roams free. I am torn as what to do. Hmm. An opportunity, perhaps. It shall take Vermina time to locate the remaining glyphics. That gives us a chance to end the corruption and restore Hermaeus Mora's power. Are you willing to hunt down Blightcrown while I try to locate Vermina? <laughs> I, I would like the, that this DLC doesn't actually go and reveal the secret, because it would be like, eh, because if it's so dangerous, then then uh, even players shouldn't shouldn't actually know it. What started in the Panopticon has spread beyond into other parts of Apocrypha. Gadain and I have seen its effects here among the stacks. While you investigate the corruption in Cyphers Midden. I shall try to determine where to find Vermina. We know it is a vile combination of dream and disease, developed by Blightcrown from concepts provided by Vermina and Periite. Master Shelrenny helped to perfect it, and her right increased its strength. It hides Vermina and weakens Hermaeus Mora. <laughs> Kind of. Cooking. I mean, <laughs> this is really, really adv advanced uh, potion. As we have making. seen, it drives the inhabitants of Apocrypha mad, and turns even allied data violent. Scrooge could sense the agony of the realm back on Nern. Here, I fear she may eventually succumb as the other natives have. Even I am not immune. No, despite your status as Fate's proxy, you seem resistant. Now, explore Cypher's Midden, and try to track down Blightcrown, or determine how the affliction spreads. I shall attempt to locate Vermina. Remember, they used sensors in the Panopticon. I think I'll stay with Laramil. Uh -huh. See if I can be of any help with her research. You tend to get into fights, and that's not something I'm very good at. No, no, just thinking out loud. I need to see this through. I promise to recover the other half of the Fulcrum Obscura, and I really want to help Laramel. Oh, and you too, friend. The end of reality as we know it is not something to take lightly. Yeah, it, it could ruin the mood. You'll have to do this on your own, mortal. I can feel Thanks. the affliction beginning to take hold. I'll pose a danger to you if I succumb as the other danger have. Find Blightcrown and beat him with a stick? How should I know? I'm an auditor of fate, not a watchling of action. That's for you and Laramil to figure out. I'll go with you. It's not like I have anywhere else to be. So, investigate corruption. Why has the realm turned against us? Oh, oh, no. The Seeker just swooped in, struck him down, flew off. They've never attacked a settlement before. The Daedra never bothered us before. The Great Eye always told us we were safe here. But that Seeker, there was madness in its eyes. Open sores, a smell of disease, and the screeching. It was awful. Yeah. 
It rushed to attack and then just froze in place. I think it's sick. Sensors. Let's return to Leramil's study and tell her what we found. Oh well, that was easy. Friend, the corruption has gotten worse. See to Scroot while I do what I can for Leramil. Free, mortal. The pain overwhelms me. Soon I won't be able to tell friend from foe. And my many beguiling eyes, each blinks out and goes dark in turn. Soon I'll be totally blind. I, I don't know, but the pain and the blindness... Is this what caused the Great Eye to disconnect from his realm? To allow Vermina's dream to envelop him in order to escape the suffering. You don't suppose she has a dream for me, do you? The other mortal? Oh, to have my fate rest in such fragile hands. Really, you should go. Apocrypha is no longer safe, and I don't want to hurt you. Wait. Barely perceptible ripple in the threads. Someone approaches. Your allies suffer needlessly, mortal. Allow what? me to aid them. Why? This affliction is beyond my skills, friend. See what the Dramora has to offer. I've certainly made a deal or two with a Daedra in my day. And it's not like we have much choice. I don't think Scroot and Lyramil can hold themselves together much longer. Why would he help? Vermina and Periite have gone too far with their corruption. It uh -huh. its way into the very fabric of Apocrypha. You only need to look to your two allies to see the harm it causes. I can ease their suffering, mortal. It was an alliance of necessity. I needed their assistance to recover that which was taken from us in ancient times. Hermaeus Mora did what he thought right, as have I. I have no desire to punish him for following his nature. I know where to find Blightcrown so that you can stop him before he does irreparable damage to this realm. And I can show you where Vermina has gone. I no longer care to share the ancient memory with her, or Periite. Because I also require help. I offer a trade, an end to this assault on Apocrypha, for the assistance of fates chosen. Decide, mortal. Blightcrown even now works his way toward the core of this realm. Soon it will be too late to reverse the damage. Okay, so so he didn't believe it's some secret that can, can actually destroy it, but he he knows that Ver, Vermina and and Periwite actually would you would use this this thing to destroy everything. So I will mark a location on your map. That's why he's Here switching sides. Path to the place Hermes Mora calls Temporarily. the Mythos, not to a memory this time but to the here and now. Then you can stop Blightcrown before the corruption becomes irreversible. It will take all of us to reach the mythos. Allow me to ease the suffering of your allies. I can see again. Go, Proxy. I shall join you at the location. The twists of fate can be confusing at times, but if Torvasad speaks true, we have to try, Proxy. I shall meet you at the Mythos entrance. You shall have my assistance for as long as I am able. I just... I want to thank Gadain for his concern. I don't like this any more than you do, but Torvasad went out of his way to show good faith. At least for a Dramora. And he helped Laramil. I appreciate that. I wonder if I can get him to tell me where to find the other half of the Fulcrum Obscura. Mm. Why not? 
not to look a gift Nixox in the mandible, but Torvasard's arrival is a little too convenient. That said, when two Daedric princes oppose you, accept whatever help comes your way. But yep. don't worry, I'll keep an eye out for any sign of treachery. I too shall meet you at the Mythos. It will take all of us working together to end the threat posed by Blightcrown and Vermina. Just know that the relief I granted your allies is fleeting. As long as the corruption persists, they are in danger. Well, hello. Okay. No, for, not enough first aid for that guy. Side real cloisters. One goes to the Calamitous Gallery, another to the Logia Infinitum, and the last goes to the Empyrean Ascent. I think that should be all of them. Yes, one, two, three. Three books, I think. I don't remember. Did I have more? It is probably fine. Missive? I don't know anything about a missive. But I could use your help. I seem to have in my possession three of my master's tomes with no memory of having taken them. I can't understate the trouble I could be in if he finds they're missing. If Hermaeus Mora thinks for even a moment that one of his ciphers is trying to steal knowledge from him, he'd unwrite my very existence without a second thought. Please. The cloisters run amok with danger. Will you help me return these books? So it's a library trip, but this time Very <laughs> with, good. With, with the yes. There are only three with some books. problems. An easy enough task for someone of your stature. Please follow me. The sidereal cloisters chart the stars to predict our futures. Through oraries and century spanning studies. The ciphers here weave starlight itself into the fabrics of fate. And because of this, the information in these walls is fiercely protected. I'll admit to slightly embellishing. One can't walk into the cloisters and leave with their fates revealed. No, years of study are required. But should one want the secrets of the stars? their paths and predictions well that must be protected oh books of this sort should not leave the cloisters in the cloisters all futures both possible and impossible stretch out like a great and terrifying ocean foolish people would try to use these books to catch a glimpse of their own fate well they would go mad of course. <laughs> Even I fear to look at them outside the sidereal halls. These books, like many books, are too dangerous to leave unguarded. I still don't understand why they... Never mind. Let's just return them. The entrance is just up ahead. I'll meet you inside. Yes, hello again. See you in there. We should first visit the Calamitous Gallery. Come this way. Okay. 
He didn't even make it past the main hall this time. Pitiful. This time. And it seems he has dragged a newcomer along as well. Poor soul. Okay, this was surprising. And now this mortal is staring at me like they can actually see me. Like they recognize I'm here. Wait. Can you actually see me? You know I'm here? Astounding. Mortal, I'll speak plainly. Morbid I observer. I'm the Morbid Observer, an overseer that presides over the cloisters. I'm afraid you've stumbled upon a trap in motion. Both myself and all those within the cloisters are stuck in a never ending cycle. Okay. Yes, though soon he'll return. Just know that when he does, he will not be able to see me. I've been kept separate from the others, unseen and unheard. I believe someone tried to steal from the cloisters, and this triggered a magical countermeasure. I assure you that a trap set by Mora himself won't be easy to undo. My best guess is to find the root of its cause, the crime that Minai Shai participated in, though he doesn't seem to remember. But enough talk. The Argonian returns. Okay. Hello, traveler. I hope the main hall isn't too imposing. I assure you, the rest of the sidereal cloisters is far more welcoming. Let me know when you're ready to venture forth. I believe the Calamitous Gallery is our first stop. A ghastly collection of troubling predictions, so please do try to avoid peeking. Best not to worry yourself. Hmm? Died? I don't know that I did. After all, here I stand in one piece. Though I suppose death can encompass a great many things. A change in self, a departure from the old. Perhaps we can compare notes after we are finished. <laughs> Meet me in the Calamitous Gallery. It's this way! Okay, he, di he didn't die now. In any votes, how, how long does this guy is going to survive? Uh, I suppose 30 seconds would be would be probable. Ah, it's de it's dependent on the tread carefully. The Calamitous Gallery has grown unruly as of late. It's become nearly as dangerous as its prophecies. Still alive? Okay. That's about... Everything seems to be so angry at me. Did I do something wrong? Ogre. Maybe he misplayed some book. We made it. We just have to place the book back in its proper spot and... Wait, what's that? I've never seen that in here before. Yeah. Struck down once again. Okay, so... mentioned that something seemed different. Come, let us speak. 50 seconds. <laughs> okay. He, he, didn't <laughs> he didn't keep alive much longer. Thanks to you, Minai Shai actually made it through the Calamitous Gallery. It's almost cause for celebration, though admittedly the bar is low. Since I am unable to lift the books, I ask that you complete the task before we investigate. I'm sure it would have already, but yet you still stand. You don't happen to have a pact with the Fathomless Prince, do you? Yep. Regardless, return the book to its proper spot. Portents of celestial bodies should sit right over there. The sigil of the great eye. So this is a trap of Mora's making. Quickly, traveler, investigate what the eye has revealed. Serpentine dragon. Recognize that pendant sigil. Moreover, ciphers are not permitted personal trinkets while within the cloisters. Yellow scrap of cloth. Torn from a robe, perhaps. 
Though not from one worn by the ciphers here in the cloisters. The new cipher revealed he was sent here on a secret mission by our fathomless prince, and that he needs my help. I can't believe it. I'd do anything for my master. Okay. The spiraling loop of the cycle. Delve deeper if you wish to resolve its unending trial. A mysterious cipher. How intriguing. Traveler, use this portal to return to the main hall. I'll meet you there shortly. Uh, why? Portals and clues. A trap befitting the cloisters there is no questioning it mora has trapped us in this cycle and these visions are beginning to reveal why minai shai was aiding a new cipher one that said he worked for mora himself a strange cipher bearing an unrecognizable pendant and fabric that does not match the robes of the cloisters this cipher fooled Minai Shai into unsealing protected tomes, and we've been paying the price this whole time. I'm certain of it. There you are. I was worried you changed your mind. Come now, we've got books to return. You have a friendly look about you, traveler. Even at a glance, I feel that I can trust you. You must get that a lot. A new cipher? It isn't often someone joins our ranks, but I must say, those that do are often strange in their own ways. Perhaps uh, when we're done here, I can help you find who you're looking for. Strange. Seems I have fewer books to return than I remember. Don't you love when that happens? <laughs> Onwards to Logia Infinitum. There he goes. Again. I find comfort in Logia Infinitum's vastness. Our prince's knowledge is as infinite as he is caring. To walk these halls is to be held by him. Be careful. Every tome here is priceless, I assure you. Still alive. Ah, yes, right here. Just need to return the book back to the correct place. Wait a moment. Traveler, something is wrong here. <laughs> One minute, ten seconds. I you are starting to understand what I have endured for countless cycles. Return the Encyclopedia Predictionum to its pedestal and see what the sigil will reveal to us. The sigil has revealed more projections, including one of myself. Interesting. So Minai Shai is the one undoing the seals on these tomes. What is this? All Prince is unsure which stones will best illuminate the path, Lord of Secrets. In all his pride will have locked his secret away. None of the powerful tombs kept in within the cloisters. Soon enough our Prince will remember what has been forgotten. Clagius Lampro News. Strange idol. An idol of some sort? 
Though I'm not sure why someone would worship a rat. Blake rat. Better white followers. These are sinful enough seals. Strange that the cipher couldn't undo these himself. No matter. I'm happy to help my prince. The cycle turns ever forward. Till all that was stolen is returned. Well, that works. It I think. I... Let's not dawdle, traveler. It seems I actually only have one book to return. Here I was bemoaning the task of returning these books, and it was only the one. I must look like a lazy fool. Still, I appreciate your company. And how grand it must be for you to see the sidereal cloisters in all its glory. Nonsense! I appreciate your aid, Traveler, but it is my duty to see this book return. To think I played any role in removing them is pain enough. I won't shirk my duties onto a stranger. No offense. You are in for a treat. Onwards to the Empyrean Ascent! Okay, probably one minute. One minute and thirty seconds, probably. He's <laughs> living time. Prepare yourself for the majesty of the Empyrean Ascent, the summit of the Cloisters Collection. Ah, uh, there's some fights here. Well, that slows us down a bit. This monster looks like a deep one, worker. Yeah, definitely a deep one. They're all very hostile, aren't they? I'm prone to a short temper myself when a book isn't returned properly. Thank you, traveler. Now all that is left is to return the book. Wait, this looks odd. I've not seen this in here before. Well, one minute forty-five <laughs> seconds. You have the honor. Not that I could return the final book myself. More projections. I was certain returning this book would end the cycle. Okay, what else has been taken? Minai Shai can't possibly know about the divinatory forums. What is he doing here? And who is that cipher? Digital forums, board of celestial bodies, Veradictunem, Phantomless Gaze, Atlas Obscurum. I have collected all the books our master requested. I do hope this pleases him. Quick! These tomes need to be brought up to the divinatory forum. Your master commands it. A cipher deceived into welcoming in vermin. And all under the nose of a blind observer. <laughs> yeah, it do does sound like they, they both kind of truth. fucked up really well. He is right. Come and speak with me. This mysterious cipher mentioned the divinatory forums. A hidden wing of the cloisters only known to overseers like myself, and a privileged few ciphers. It seems our best course of action is to follow in their footsteps. In order to access the divinatory forums, a cipher must tap into the sigil magic that pulses through the cloisters. 
You'll have to trace the sigil of the Great Eye and pray that my presence, however tenuous, still allows us access to its halls. It worked. Let us continue into the divinatory forums. Of course, a fourth book and one more potent than the rest. We must return it, Traveler, and stop this intruder at all costs. Scam. Only the last of them. Oh, thank Beck. The Atlas Obscurum. Of course, this triggered Morris' trap. My prince would never risk this tome leaving the cloisters. Quickly, we must return it. There, by the Divining Overlook. That is where we must return the Atlas. I'll meet you in there after I ask you. There, that pedestal. Return the Atlas. You only I will be free. Okay, he sees cap captured by the cycle, let's go. Big tentacle. My eye, nor my judgment. Deceiver and deceived alike. With knowledge secured and lesson learned, the cycle is broken. The faithful are made whole. You only delay my escape from this cycle. I will be free. They're coming for us. Come, you open uh, the door. Do you want Come. to brag about that? Let us speak in the main hall where it is safer. And you were conscious the whole time? This is a lot to take in. How long were we trapped in this cycle? I'm unsure how long the cycle lasted. It could have been an eternity. And yes, you died. A great many times, in fact. You should speak with me, Shai. He's very energetic for someone who was just released from an endless cycle of death. You did it! You ended the cycle! I'm slowly starting to remember everything. And yes, that includes all my deaths. But best not to dwell on that <laughs> Thank uh... you for everything you have done for me. Uh, for us. Yes, thank you for freeing us from this trap. To think my prince would go to such lengths to protect the knowledge kept here. 
A harsh punishment? But I must not question my master. It isn't much, but I want you to have this. Thank you, friend. Uh, Argonia with Kamonatongset. Ah, okay. My time here in the cloisters has been enlightening. I think, after all this, it'd be nice to stretch my legs and explore the plain. I'll do my best to avoid mad cultists and traps. I promise. Oh, certainly. It has been a privilege to work within these halls. And besides, it's been a while since I've been able to properly conduct my role as a cipher. Imagine all the predictions that have piled up while we were trapped. Strange. I had forgotten the smell of dusty divinations. In fact, I can't remember the last book I read. It's been ages since I could pick one up. If you would like, I could offer a few suggestions. Some of my favorites, perhaps. That would be appreciated, Minai Shai. Though perhaps, let me collect them this time. Okay. So, we should actually get, like... Uh... That, that way, okay. So we should get a couple new companions from this DLC. Big bones. I was slightly surprised that Hermor Moraist Lord of the Tides, but then again, it, it kind of fits. Okay, there's another. It is my will. Okay, who's will? Away, you pestering phantom. Who have You're you here. been impressing? So blast these frayed fates. Let's get in there and turn theory into practice, eh? Smooth these things back into the universe. Well, first, we enter the drift and find the darn thing. The fate weaver key in your able hands will lead us where we need to go. Now, properly attuned, it should allow you to tug on the threads that bind my fate to me. We use the Fate Weaver key itself to bind this frayed fate back into the fabric of the universe. Now, I'm not... well, to be totally honest, I'm not exactly sure what that will look like. But we're armed with a dead friend's knowledge. We'll see it done. Fathom's Drift. I need help. I was swept overboard in a storm and found myself washed up in this terrifying land. What happened? I must find my ship. I must find Nanaral, my father. Are you real or just another spirit? I am Landavel, first mate on the opulent gale. My father, Nanarel, is the ship's captain. We were trapped in a horrible storm. I fell into the churning sea. I was dragged under the waves, blacked out, and awoke nearby in a ship's graveyard. I need to find my father and my ship. When I last saw him, he was at the wheel, clutching his treasure belongings. A, a locket, a spyglass, and the ship's logbook. Our ship must have run aground. We need to find him. <laughs> they are in a totally different realm of oblivion. Interesting. Oh, thank you. I fled from ghosts and Daedra when I came ashore and heard one of them call it Fathom's Drift. I will not leave this place before I've tracked down my father and our ship. Surely he survived the storm. My father has captained the opulent gale since I was a boy. He built the ship with his own two hands. I may never be the captain he'd hoped I'd be, but I'll never forget how alive I felt knowing he was at the wheel. This place? I don't know where we are. There was a storm and a great wave, and my father shouting. Yes, he was shouting at the storm. Hermaeus Mora. High elves don't deal with Daedra. And now you do. But he's known among the sailors as Hermes Mora. Hermes Mora. Tide King. He carries many names, but he lives deep beneath the waves. Could my father have angered him somehow? Ah, interesting. To, 
pretty interesting because uh, Cold Harbor had this lost fleet which has, has its own story. So that was kind of possible, but I think this is more plausible that there's like sunken ships here. The fate we were key will be our guide. It should make visible the threads that bind me to the nearby frayed fate. Okay, we are doing two first at the same time. The wrecked ships are ahead through these sea caves. Look for my father's belongings. If we find them, we'll likely find him as well. Lando Bell, my boy! You're alive! I'm so relieved! Father, is that you? Are you... This ghost. You brought my son here. I thought I lost him. For that, you have my thanks. I'm Nanarel, captain of the opulent Gale. My son's been restored to me. We must complete the pact before this gift is taken back. I watched my son swept overboard. He would drown in the storm. I appealed to a greater power, but didn't complete the ritual. We must finish the task, lest he perish again. Ah. You must sacrifice three tokens from my past. Logbook, spyglass, and locket at the unquenchable brazier near the entrance to the sea caves to seal the pact. Do this for us. You brought my son here. That's my father's handwriting, and someone else's as well. What does it mean? I remember the cold waves dragging me down, and my father dead. God, this is a lot to grapple with. Okay, so we come here. Okay, so 15 minutes and there will be like press con conference about the submarine. Yeah, I don't expect much. Because in these situations, it is not something Look that there. we can actually. This distortion is afraid fate. Well, not they not much to tell. Into focus. Well, the deck is at. Stop lollygagging, Azander. I'm tired of all this. What? A sailor? How odd. I haven't wanted to be a sailor since I was a child. Builds rats and stale bread. I'll never make it to first mate. What is that? I grow stronger. Use the key. These room forms should banish that thing. We will not be undone. It worked. Oh, I wasn't sure it would. What we just witnessed. Distressing, horrid, disconcerting. Apologies, cohort. I'm free associating to deal with my emotions. So basically, 
afraid fate is is a kind of entity. Of course, yeah, just processing. Tem, it seems, was telling the truth. Afraid fate has grown in strength somehow, become adversarial. Allow me to take back the Fate Weaver key. Hmm. I'll need to consider this new information. The introduction of this adversary into the experiment was unforeseen. Let's reconvene in my room at Cypher's Midden. All right, then we save this another sailor here. I cannot believe it. Couple of euros. My father traded his life for mine. Let me tell you all, my friend. Then you can cast the items into the flames and complete my life. I will tell you everything. Of my relationship to the Daedric Prince. And what I did to save my son. Tell me, uh, tell me about this pact. The pact was with Hermas Mora, who sleeps with his secrets in the depths. I had learned an incantation to entreat with him from an ancient sailor, and inscribed the summoning into my logbook. Okay. When I saw my child swept away in the storm, I knew he would perish. And I invoked the pact. Hermas Mora heard my prayers and answered. At a cost. At a cost. My son was saved, but I am fated to serve as Hermas Mora's guide in this land of lost souls. You must burn the relics of my past, so I exist only in memory. Sacrifice the spyglass, logbook, and locket in the brazier. These items represent my past. Place them in the sacred flame to finalize my pact and seal my fate. Should Hermas Mora rescind his offer, Landovel will perish. With this glass, I beheld Hermas Mora rising from the sea in response to my evocation. It nearly shattered my mind. So horrid was its visage. The book invokes the pact I made. I transcribed the spell into it. When I spoke the words aloud, Hermas Mora's writing appeared beneath it, agreeing to the deal. Burning the book and the other items finalizes my agreement. Unless it is fed to the brazier, there is still a chance Hermas Mora would return my son to the depths and let him drown. Ah, that is a treasured totem of my past life, of my lovely wife and devoted son. It is marked by the hand of Hermas Mora when he agreed to spare my son's life. You've heard what I have to say. Now place the sacrifices into the flame. My head is spinning. My head is spinning. Yeah. The logbook. Why didn't it burn? I don't understand. How is this possible? Hermes Mora has changed the bargain. It now reads, Let Nanorel, or the memory of him, become my guide for the drowned dead. The words, or the memory of him, are new. What does this mean? You mean to suggest Hermes Mora wants me to forget my own father? Forget our time together? Surely I would never... No, I will do it. If it means my father will return to the mortal plane, I will do whatever it takes. Hermas Mora will trade my memories for my father's life. I would forget him, but he would live. Yes. Give me the book. 
I would rather perish than let my son forget me. Let me seal the pact. Ah, we are seeing different opinions here. Ah, choices, choices. So he wants to save his father. Yet yeah, that kind of feels better, but then again, he forgets that his father exists. Traveler, it, give me the book. It's this is bonkers. Uh, either way, you are doing this. My father put everything on the line to save me. But I cannot let him die. Not if there's a better alternative. Should I hesitate when my father made the same choice? This isn't what I wanted. But my memories seem a small price to pay for his life. Give me the book. Thank you, Traveler, for helping me rescue my father. Hermes Moria will now come claim his bounty. But for these final moments, I will think of my father. Here, for your efforts. Hear me. Hermes Mora, I accept your offer. My memories for my father's life. You have saved both me and my son, but at what cost? Who are you, old man? I am... No. I am a friend of your father's. Come, let's talk. This man is a friend of yours, no? He feels... quite familiar. To be honest, I'm not sure. Odd. Things feel familiar, but distant. I remember you, and almost drowning, and washing up on shore. But there's something else, something deeply... important that I've lost track of. I'm not sure. This old man... He seems... familiar. I think he's a captain. Perhaps I'll go to sea again. Yes, that would be good for me. This man is a friend of yours, no? I'm restored. Thomas Mora is bountiful. But at what price? For once, I have no stars to guide me. I cannot simply return home to my wife. I cannot tell her Landel Vell thinks me to be a stranger. I will remain until I find a new path. Perhaps I may guide him a bit longer. No longer as father, but as companion. There is a settlement southeast of here, I understand. I shall lead him to safety. It pains me, but he chose to save me at the cost of his memory. I'm unsure what happens next, but I will watch over him in hopes that one day we might journey together. Oh, that that that's the story. I probably didn't kill the boss, so that's still marked as a uh, black. But yeah, let's meet Asander and maybe go go get that uh, another companion. Somehow, my experiment seems to have created a new, previously unseen mystic phenomenon. I'm happy that One somebody likes this. consume the other by means and for reasons unknown. I'd be even happier if it didn't want me dead. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yes. I mean, would I prefer this adversary enjoy a strenuous argument over a pot of tea? Without a doubt. But you have to understand, I believe the Fate Weaver experiment was an abject failure. 
Indubitably. And mark me well, this discovery would not have been possible without your insights and abettants. We make a superlative research duo, you and I. I haven't had a competent cohort in some time. I must. My fate is still frayed, after all. It must be restored and this dark being dealt with. But now, a question for you. Would you be willing, if you have the time and inclination, to continue our collaboration? Together, my new cohort, we began the work of understanding the nature of fate. We put an old friend to rest. And someday soon, we'll repair the key. But for now, accept my promised coin with enthusiastic thanks. Onward and upward. Together, cohort, we will accomplish stupendous things, remarkable things, for research. All right. So now we have a new companion. And, and uh, these companions actually have, have a, a story of their own. And, and Miri had a pretty okay story. Let the research be... Hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. I've had many collaborators over the years. And you are one of them. Ah! Yes, I'm here. So he can... Uh, cast a couple spells. So we don't have a staff, at least yet. I, th I think I have a staff equipped to some. Ba Bastion probably has it. This guy definitely would need a mage, mage uh, equipment or so of some kind. Probably going to uh, change his weapon because he can now cast the healing spell, which is really, really, really handy. Like in most most games, healing is pretty pretty okay. <laughs> so this is his uh, normal clothing. We can actually put one of the, our own costumes on him. So if we want to see him look like a Daedric cultist, that's that's possible. Dragon priest. <laughs> this actually fits him. <laughs> 